Imagine this. One of the smarter people at the deal table asks the question, how are we going to make this an exciting opportunity for employees that they embrace rather than a cauldron of fear and uncertainty? I know, I know they rarely ever actually ask that question, but they should. One of the biggest reasons for merger failure is that the two parties don't agree on the details of why they are merging in the first place. So they'll agree at the level of technological acquisition. They may agree at the level of geographical expansion. But when you get down into the actual details, each of the sides is holding a little bit different version of how that's going to play out. And that is the kiss of death in a merger. Purpose is a really powerful declaration for your employees and really broadly all of your stakeholders. It's a very simple, emotional declaration of why you exist. And it's so important in today's world because more and more the people who want to work for you want to work for a company that has something more meaningful that it's seeking than just making a ton of money. Why declare a unifying purpose in a merger? Let's talk first about customers. 64% of consumers say they want to do business with a company that has a bigger, meaningful reason for being other than just making a lot of money. I don't know if any of you have seen the Crest commercials that were done a couple of years ago where they were essentially talking about saving water. Nothing about toothpaste as an example. Number two, financial ROI. Brands that focus on quality of life for both their employees and their customers outperform the stock market by 120%. Tesla, for example, isn't just about selling cool cars. Their purpose is literally to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Number three, attract and retain the best talent. More and more people, especially the younger generations, are looking for the opportunity to do something that's meaningful at work. In fact, nine out of 10 employees say that they would trade the lifetime value of their earnings or paycheck in trade for being able to do work that's meaningful. Leaders who do choose to come together and create a unifying purpose, they create a bond between the two leadership teams of the different companies in doing so. They help to set the merger off on the right foot from the beginning with something that is shared between them, a common bond that's shared between them. And that helps to offset that 30% first year attrition that we spoke about earlier. So three actions that you can take to support a strong unifying purpose. Number one, ensure the leaders on both sides are truly aligned about the why behind the deal. This is where a neutral outsider can help a lot with uncovering reasons people might not have wanted to talk about in the courtship, might not have gotten to some of the unsaids that need to be said. Number two, engage people on both sides to create the shared purpose. This gives everyone on both companies a chance to interact in a juicy kind of way rather than in some of this dry hey you gotta figure out how to get along and it helps them discover the positive opportunities and the benefits of working together number three communicate 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 and then communicate some more if you were doing a brand launch or a brand new product launch you would not shortchange the communication process to get customers to buy your product. Your employees are your customers. So don't shortchange your communication during the merger, which is usually handled like some dry PR announcement. Make it make sense for them. I want you to keep those valued employees that you've worked so hard for. And that is why having a trusted expert who has seen it all is so important at this stage. We've been doing this since 1998. There really is nothing that we have not seen. So get in touch if I can be of any help to you. There are several ways for us to connect. 
feel free to call me, email me, information's right up here on the screen, or you can connect with me on LinkedIn at Lisa Jackson Culture. Whatever works best for you, I look forward to speaking with you.